numbing cream. This helps. Seriously, it's like, I was telling Ethan last night, it's kind of like spicy when you get it. It's not, the moxie like doesn't hurt. You know, it just kind of- just feels like, like heat, prickly heat. Prickly heat, yeah. It's all so. the new collagen stimulation. Yes. The channels. All the collagen. So we need a little numbing cream and we're doing my chest too. Mm -hmm. Which I'm very Don't excited about. Don't forget about this. Yes. All of it lines up together. Yeah. Bye. This is Jill, you guys. Hello. I will put her information in down below so you guys can check it out. Um, this is, I had this done twice now before just this winter, I mm -hmm. think. Yeah. And it when was we first so got it. Great. Mm -hmm. My mom has gotten it done and she loves it. She's like, actually for Christmas, I would like a moxie treatment. Mm -hmm. She's in Mexico right now. So she's like, oh. like mom, use your sunscreen, yeah. but. <laughs> then we'll get rid of it all yes. with moxie. Yes. Erase all the sun damage. Yep. She was even saying she has melasma mm -hmm. and I have done um, lots of people with makeup having melasma and it does help with that too. Right? Patches of brown that can happen during yeah. pregnancy. They call it a mask of pregnancy, but it also can just happen in life from sun damage, genetics, um, stress, like a lot of things can affect it and it's really it can be challenging to treat, but one thing yeah. that can treat it is moxie. Moxie. Yep. So first things first though, numbing. Ooh. There's the moxie tip ready to go. Right, there's the light that's going to be going under our skin and little channels. Forehead because this area is a little more bony and tight, so you get that right out of the way. Really, Moxie is very fast. You just do a certain pattern in each section, so all said and done, it's usually about 10 minutes max for the whole treatment base, neck, and chest, which is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Yeah, it's like the longest is just numbing, really. Yep, numbing is the fact that the longest for sure. And once in a while, people won't numb, but I do highly recommend it. But I've had a uh, you know, lady who was nursing, didn't want to have the numbing cream because mm. it's very safe to do when you're nursing. There's no chemical being used. It's just laser. So really, uh, when people are like, I want something natural. Well, you know, when you think about it, there's no chemical in this. There's no ingredient at all. It's just using your natural collagen in your skin by creating a wound healing response to trigger more collagen. And the channels are pushing up the sun damage. So it's just all light energy. So light energy is just what it is. It's nothing that is unnatural. So pregnant women should not do it just because we just don't know about anything with their skin being potentially too sensitive or whatnot. But when there's nursing going on, we just want to avoid the numbing cream. So it can be done um, in three different settings. So it can be definitely done in a way where it's more uh, low level. Sorry, getting your crazy long nope. lashes in here. <laughs> not want to take any of that lash off. Essentially just, Got, causing a lot of this energy to go on the skin to trigger what is in there but has been lost over time. So anybody starting at age 25 really, um, it's starting to lose up to 1% of collagen a year. And then when that happens, we just start to notice changes, wrinkles, fine lines, spots, all the things. So this is going to erase it and keep it from coming back as soon. And the spots, when they start, they can get a lot deeper into the skin and are harder to get rid of. So the sooner you get those spots, the better you're gonna be. Get them. And really, it, there was like one, what was that yeah. one bigger spot? It's right there. I was literally gonna ask you, yes. wasn't there one spot that we like concentrated yeah, on? Yeah, I think it was over here. I think so Because that left too. cheek from the car, often the left side's gonna have more yep. stuff going on. Because of the car, the sun damage, the sunscreen, every day, people. Yes. Every, every, every day. Because that is 90% of aging is the sun. The easiest thing you can do is just throw on a good sunscreen. Mineral based is the best. Elta MG yeah. is really, really good because you don't have any chemical, but it doesn't feel like you're putting straight up clay on the face because a lot of them, it's just the truth of the matter. They feel gross. They feel heavy and they look white. So yeah. A lot of them are not so lovely to use, but Elta is fabulous. It's a great price point, medical grade, all this stuff. So. Yeah, just find a good sunscreen, whether it be Elta or anything else that you just like that's mineral based, and do it every day. Yeah. Moxie is prejuvenation. It is going to be all about rejuvenating and preventative care. So it's kind of the next level of everything going on with skin care treatments. The future of working with the young, the millennial. Millennial and even the. What is the other generation? Who's the one before Gen millennial? Oh. Gen Z? 
Y yeah. I think it's Gen Z, right? I, that's what I was gonna say. Even Gen Z is like, I forget what the cutoff is, but I think my daughter is a Gen Z and she's turned 18. So it's mm. like, I think that generation even is starting to like get more pro proactive. Yeah, I feel like skincare is getting real big. Let me tuck your lips in for me. A lot of uh, younger ones especially are like, I don't want tech neck. Tech neck mm. is the whole thing now with like looking down at um, mm -hmm. laptops all the time or whatever. Oh, smartphones. Yep. The test will take just a little bit longer to slip off some of the little cinnamon speckles of sunspots, as you like to call them. But um, as it does that, you will you reveal fresher, smoother skin. And then those spots that just kind of can disrupt the whole flow of evenness from here to here is going to then match the face of you. probably see a lot of speckles on the chest. This mm -hmm. is a new area. It'll be really fun, actually. You should <laughs> show them after the spots start to appear. It's really yeah. cool. Like, this is It doesn't, I mean, right now it just appears you have more in the middle, but it's amazing how many are hiding. Right. And it's like the whole area would probably be speckles, even though you wouldn't really think that necessarily. Yeah. Excited. Some of these are moles, and moles will lighten, right. but moles usually won't go away 100%, but they will lighten. I've been a moly person, person my whole life, so I've tried to lighten moles, and I usually, usually succeed, and then they'll kind of come back a little bit. But. Yeah. But some of them actually do go away. There was one on my face I always that always kind of bothered me, and then eventually it just kind of just gone. And I was like, oh, you know yeah, that one on my right. face that I think that was I thought was a mole, mm -hmm. and you got it with the mom's yeah. feet. So yeah, I want to say it was over on this side. Yeah. I see a little remnant of it kind of pushing up right now. It probably it's like that little memory of it is still in there. Yeah. I'm going to come back and handle a little bit more. Yeah. Just for a good measure. Definitely. But yeah, like I said, they have a memory, so it's like the sooner you get them, the better, because at least that little remnant that's coming back a teeny just from the inflammation, really. Right. It's so slight, and you couldn't even see it before that, where if you would have waited 10 years, then yeah, it probably would take like three treatments to get it. Yeah. And I've seen that with, you know, some people who obviously are a little bit older, so. <laughs> Complete. Oh, bright. Uh, <laughs> it's like, I feel like it's just like hot. Yeah. And I'll give you a feel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spray you with this amazing rose mist. So here we go. Ooh. And then she'll have a gel to use at home. Mm -hmm. A laser gel that's going to cool it all down. And within 30 to 45 minutes, you really, the heat just dies down incredibly. Yeah. It's really initially right now, too. All right, you guys. <laughs> well, all I've been doing really right after, and I don't remember exactly what I did on you before, but since I've been doing them since I saw you. Yeah. Um, I feel like putting gel on it right away actually almost like masks the heat a little bit, like pushes it. Yeah. Just from me touching it and stuff, I feel like it's kind of aggravating. That's from me doing it on myself the last time too. I'm like, yeah. I don't like the way the gel feels right away. Mm. So then when you wait a little bit, you just spray it at first. So just do it when you get home. When I get home. Yeah, okay. So I'm not going to do it right away. I was starving, got McDonald's and some nuggets and fries. I am fries? so hungry. I am getting ready for bed. Ethan is outside with the kids in the garage. They're like making something. I'm not quite sure what they're making, um, but I came down here to get a root beer. Oh, and some pop chips. I really like these and I'm about to edit, so I need something crunchy. Um, and I wanted to tell you guys, I wanted to first off show you my skin. So I'll show you when I get to the kitchen, or gosh, I'm tired. The bathroom. All right, this is my skin post moxie. This is like two days. I've been giving updates on my Instagram, but it basically looks, I don't know if you can even tell, but like it looks like sandpaper. <laughs> Feels like sandpaper. And for the instructions of this, basically like lather and moisturizer. So I've been putting on confidence in a cream. It's like real thick. So I've been putting this on. I also have been doing a little bit of oil and on my chest as well, cause I got it there too. And the only other thing that I'm doing skincare wise that stays the same is my Babe Lash, which this is my lash serum that I absolutely love. I talk about this all the time because even when um, Jill was doing my facial, she was like, I'm trying to get your crazy long eyelashes under this like thing. And you can't tell right now, 
Maybe you can if I close my eyes. It's it's honestly amazing. I used to use Grande Lash for a really long time and I really liked that. However, um, my best friend Rachel, she has very sensitive skin and I wanted to find a lash serum that would work with people with sensitive skin. And this was literally the only one she could use. She's tried Grande Lash. She, I think, tried that one for one day and then woke up the next day and her eyes were like swelled shut, basically. She was like, they hurt, they're so red. She even took a picture. I was like, yeah, no, you, you can't use that. So Babe Lash, I have a code too. It is Court 20. It is honestly the best stuff ever. Would make a really good gift for people who love makeup, mascara, whatnot. Um, they also have a new brow serum, which I absolutely love. This is like a little doe foot applicator and it's really easy. I have been using this for gall a good couple months now and it has made a huge difference. The tail of my brows have always been very sparse just because of, you know, over plucking, over waxing, the whole thing. And this has really, really helped. So if you need any good serums, would make a great gift. Core 20 saves you 20% and it is the best stuff ever. I promise I'll leave the code below too. So anyways, I'm about to do that with my pop chips and I do have a wedding tomorrow. So I am, I gotta go through my stuff, um, wash my makeup brushes and all that to pack up for tomorrow.